Hey, 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 folks, welcome to my channel. I recently found out about an ingredient that could make my color look like, you know, our real, old, real traditional Trinidad and Tobago Callaloo, right? And so, in this video, I'll show you what I did. So, I'm going to be making my Callaloo with this chopped spinach made by Bull's Eye. This is what that was recommended to me, and I tried it, and it came out perfect, man, perfect. You know, so I'm going to make another set of this Callaloo with this um, chopped spinach, and we're going to show you what I'm going to do, what I mean, how I'm going to do it. It's the same. Um, recipe but just that uh, this is an ing ingredient um, if you don't have the um, regular dashing bush that we are accustomed to in Trinidad and Tobago so I'm using this as I said before I'm going to use the whole pack next as you can see here I'm using some cut okra um, you know okra is another thing that's not regular for us and we don't get any grocery on a regular basis fresh okra so I'm going to use this it will come out this is good and um, of course if I do get some fresh okra, okra on that occasion, I would use the um, fresh okra. So I'm going to use this for this recipe. Okay, so in my pot, I already added the, the um, spinach that I showed you before and the okra. I'm going to add um, some pumpkin and about four to five garlic cloves and one red onion. If you have like, um, let's say, seasoning peppers you could add some red yellow ones give it some more color you can't lose some more color but i didn't really get any for this recipe but you know of course we'll give it give it extra flavor i'm going to use one kind of coconut milk of course fresh coconut milk is always the best so to season this up i have some um seasoning or all-purpose seasoning that i found in my store you could use whatever you have on hand you could use probably best uh, pepper, salt, whatever, sorry, black pepper, salt, whatever you have. I'm also going to add some black pepper. Another cream ingredient to this um, is a hot pepper, which I'm not using because my husband is, he's allergic to the black, the hot pepper. So um, this is some thyme leaves I'm adding here. I'm out of parsley flakes. If I had that, I would have added some of that into this. I'm going to put this on my stove, medium heat, and let this bubble, baby. I'm going to add a cup of water to allow all the ingredients to cook well and soften up really good. Okay, here we go. My pot is on the stove. So I'll let this bubble for like about, let's say, 25 minutes before I check into it and see how it's going. Give it a taste and we'll go on to the next step. Oh my goodness, everything is coming along quite nicely and you wouldn't believe the aroma I'm getting from this. Even from any living room, it smells fabulous. <laughs> Alright, and even though everything is chunky, I'm going to put this in my blender, give it a, a nice pulse. Just for like a half a second or something. I don't really like it too smooth. I like my um, color with a little chunkiness but smooth. Um, traditionally, we use like what, call, what you call a swizzle stick. But now, hell, we use the blender, right? <laughs> so, yeah. And what my mom would t taught me previously, um, you know, when I learned this recipe way back whenever, um, when the um, seeds of the okra get pink, it's basically time to turn off the stove, do a blend, and taste, and see, see how everything is looking. So, I'll give it up maybe about 10 more minutes before I turn off my stove. Oh, I forgot to mention too, if um, you decide to use a hot pepper, which is traditionally what we do in Trinidad and Tobago, add a hot, pep hot pepper to our callaloo, um, you'll need to take it out of, um, at this point, if you have to blend or if you have to swizzle, the old school way, traditional way, um, you'll have to take out that pepper before um, doing a swizzle or blending. What will happen is if you don't do that, um, your callaloo will be super, super hot and you would not be able to enjoy it. When I say hot, I mean spicy. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to turn off my stove right now. And I'm going to allow this to cool. And then I'm going to put this in a blender to get this nice and smooth a bit. So I'm going to allow this to cool for a minute and then I'll be back. Okay, folks, here's my Callaloo. I'll put it in a blender for about, uh, let's say, half a second. I like the consistency of it. This is how I like it. 
perfect it is fabulous and I am surprised at the amount that I got with that one packet of the spinach chopped spinach I got quite a bit this may be like for two days maybe super awesome Alright folks, this is my Callaloo, super delicious, very very tasty and I forgot to mention too, after you finish um, blend um, the Callaloo to get this kind of consistency, um, if you had taken out the pepper previously, you could put it back in now and you know, enjoy your Callaloo, you could enjoy it just like this, I like to, to have it like this sometimes, or maybe with some ground provision, some rice, whatever you want to do, how we get normally in Trinidad, probably have your macaroni pies, two chicken, it works, <laughs> yeah baby. Alright, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.